Mr. Chairman, thank you very much for the invitation to present our experience in uh, Birmingham regarding uh, uh, replacement of the uh, aortic arch. Um, as uh, introduction, introduction and uh, very brief patients with disease of the aortic arch are uh, of significant challenge to the cardiac surgeon as the aortic arch is a transition between the ascending to the descending aorta. Uh, very commonly there is disease on, on either side of the, uh, of the aorta and that imposes uh, big challenges on how to deal with the, uh, both of them. Gives origin as well to the uh, uh, vessels that will supply with blood to the, to the brain and has also an important role in the irrigation of the spine. Therefore, uh, challenges are uh, quite important in how we deal with the, uh, with the aortic arch. The aortic arch can be uh, addressed, as we've been uh, hearing already, uh, openly or, oops, sorry, uh, can be addressed uh, via open repair or uh, hybrid repairs or total endovascular uh, treatment and uh, all of that is uh, at the moment, as we've heard, ju just heard, uh, open to uh, discussion. Uh, therefore, present aortic arch disease may be approached with different treatment modalities. The different uh, treatment uh, modalities or the way we're going to address the arch depends on the extension of the, of the disease the fitness of the uh, of the patient, if he's open, if he's fit enough for open repair, or the patient is unfit for it, and the experience of the center or the preference uh, in 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 treatment. The conventional the the, the, the treatment of the uh, of the arch, as we uh, have already heard, is either a conventional open repair and, and total arch replacement adding a flo uh, floating elephant trunk or uh, using a, a, a frozen elephant trunk. We can use different uh, uh, approaches, one stage repair, uh, combining the, uh, the, the replacement of the descending aorta uh, or the thoracoabdominal aorta. Uh, another approach is the endovascular hybrid, as we've heard. Again, frozen elephant trunk, total endovascular repair of the, uh, of the arch is also possible. What is the evidence uh, at the moment so far with the uh, uh, open repair of the, and, and total repair of the aortic arch? There is an in-hospital mortality in, uh, in, in, in papers published of 5.3%, stroke 3.4%, and uh, a spinal cord injury of 0.6%. Is it possible to perform the operation in elderly patients? And we got this paper of uh, Kitamura uh, of uh, operations in octogenarians. However, in elderly people, although the operation is feasible, uh, the incidence of stroke and mortality tends to uh, increase. In a meta-analysis uh, uh, review, uh, in a meta-analysis in a, in, in a meta uh, review, we can see that it's a success rate of the te technical success of 93%, a 30-day mortality of 12% uh, stroke, spinal cord injury, and retrograde dissection when we use uh, hybrid repairs. Therefore, there is no one way of treating the aortic arch that may be a, 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 a more than one. As a background, just to, rem just, just to remind everybody that the floating elephant trunk already uh, described by, by Hans Bors in uh, 1983 allowed us to address the, uh, the ascending aorta, treat the, the, the aortic arch, and uh, leave a floating trunk for future uh, treatment and uh, management of the uh, descending aorta when it was uh, uh, necessary. Nowadays, and uh, Dr. Bavaria has already mentioned it as well, the aortic arch can be uh, replaced with, uh, uh, by uh, means of using the, uh, uh, elephant, the frozen elephant trunk, which will uh, give options to, for further treatment, uh, either endovascularly or uh, open repairs of the descending aorta, having addressed the uh, uh, aortic arch and um, uh, having uh, uh, addressed the aortic arch and the uh, as ascending aorta. 
uh, current evidence for the success rates of the, with the float, uh, frozen elephant trunk, 30 days in hospital mortality in the international literature is 8.3%. There is a degree of stroke, and there is also, a, a, nonetheless, a, a degree of spinal injury uh, as well. The hybrid technique, and uh, this was uh, pointed out as well in the uh, presentation previously, hybrid technique is not intended as a replacement of conventional aortic arch surgery where the uh, open uh, technique is still probably uh, the gold standard. Our experience in uh, aortic arch replacement, we recently published this in the European Journal, and uh, uh, it tells that we, since uh, 1998 to 2016, we have operated uh, uh, about 400 procedures of patients uh, undergoing arch replacement. The procedures uh, performed have been total arch replacement, ME arch replacement, when at least one of the epiaortic vessels was re-implanted, or ventral arch replacement when uh, just the uh, undersurface of the arch uh, was resected, uh, but none of the to, the to the level of the ligamentum arteriosus, and none of the epiaortic vessels was uh, re-implanted. About 75% of the uh, procedures are represented by total or uh, ME arch replacement with uh, floating and uh, or a frozen elephant trunk technique. Um, all our patients are operated in circulatory arrest and we dropped temperature at 22 degrees. All patients are monitored with the uh, radial lines, bilateral radial lines, left and, and, and right, uh, and also nears monitoring in, in the brain. The, uh, uh, we use selective anti-grade cerebral perfusion to, uh, to vessels uh, routinely. We use arch graft with dedicated branch for perfusion cannula uh, and repositioning normally the uh, perfusion cannula from the arterial return side to the graft side arm uh, on completion of the uh, distal arch anastomosis. This allows us to pressurize the, uh, the arch and test the anastomosis for uh, hemostasis. SACP. Uh, normally at 10 ml per kilo per minute. We use topic eyes to the head and dexamethasone as uh, part of the uh, protocol. Maintenance of the, uh, of the temperature, of the cold uh, temperature, is until all epiaortic vessels uh, anastomosis are completed. When the um, vessels, when all the anastomosis are completed, we move on to a five minutes reperfusion cold of the patient of hope to uh, get an homogenic uh, uh, perfusion uh, and subsequently uh, we start uh, rewarming. Re we always try to uh, pressurize the left subclavian artery as well in order to uh, ensure a good uh, perfusion to the, uh, uh, to the spine and uh, uh, diminish any uh, potential damage uh, paraplegia, uh, uh, or so on. All our patients are discussed in a dedicated MDT, which involves cardiac surgeons, endovascular uh, surgeons, cardiologists with special interest in aortic disease and uh, in, in genetic aortopathies. All patients suspected to have a genetic aortopathy are referred to specialized genetic services for uh, testing and confirmation of uh, the uh, 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 genetic problem when, they, when we suspect they have any connective tissue disorders. Uh, the treatment of choice for all these patients is the total repla the, the, the replacement of the arch, complete replacement of the, uh, uh, of the arch. The patients with, uh, uh, with acute type A dissections uh, are uh, addressed by uh, re replacing the arch and replacing the ascending aorta. Patients with chronic type A dis dissections involving the arch are treated with isolated arch replacement in the, if the interval, intimal flap is confined to the arch. Patients with chronic type B dissections, when the proximal descending aorta is uh, uh, dilated, preferentially we use the uh, frozen elephant trunk technique 
to control the, uh, the, the false lumen, promote, uh, promote a, a thrombosis of the, uh, of, of the false lumen, and to provide eventually a landing zone for future endovascular uh, treatment. Um, I'm just going to skip. Uh, going to skip this. Uh, risk stratification in this type of patients is uh, complex, and uh, we studied uh, and, 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 and we tried to see what the uh, impact or influence of Euroscore uh, was in uh, this type of patients. <laughs> Um, other scoring systems like the ASAS uh, uh, classification is open to variability, so uh, it doesn't seem to be a, a right way of, uh, of uh, risk stratifying all these uh, patients. Uh, in uh, our observations of uh, our more than 400 uh, cases, uh, we divided patients in, uh, in three different groups. Uh, low risk, uh, those patients with uh, logistic euro scores uh, below 20, uh, uh, medium risk patients with logistic uh, euro score between 20 and 60, and high risk patients with uh, uh, logistic euro scores more than, uh, uh, more, more than 60. Uh, since 1998 uh, to 2013, 350 uh, patients were included in this uh, uh, in, in this study, from which 242 had undergone total arch replacement. And the logistic Euroscore, as uh, mentioned, was used to uh, risk uh, stratify them. The uh, complexity of, uh, of the surgery was defined when any additional procedure was, uh, was added, and we found that aortic root replacement or mitral valve replacement was uh, amongst the, uh, uh, the, 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 the procedures that would uh, more affect the outcome of patients, especially uh, in high-risk patients when uh, th there was a difference between 27% and 4.2% and when uh, they uh, uh, underwent a combined procedure versus uh, uh, versus a uh, uh, non-combination uh, of procedure. Uh, this uh, table summarizes the, uh, the, uh, our findings, and we uh, found that the patients with uh, uh, classified as very high risk, uh, that's to say a euro score of uh, more than 60, uh, they did well when uh, the, uh, when the, the operation was only a total arch replacement, but the mortality was increased when uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the procedure was combined with uh, uh, aortic root replacement or a uh, mitral valve uh, uh, replacement. Uh, in our series, the logistic Euroscope cor correlates well with operative mortality in patients under undergoing open total arch replacement with a uh, frozen elephant trunk, which is the technique that we've been uh, using uh, uh, more. Uh, low risk patients present low mortality regardless of the extent uh, of uh, operation, and those patients are patients with Euroscore of less than 20. Very high risk patients present high mortality even with simple operations. However, the, uh, the, 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 the mortality increases even more when we add mitral valve replacement or uh, aortic root replacement in those patients. The rate of permanent neurological deficit remained low in all uh, our patients, and spinal cord injury did not occur in any of our conventional total R replacement uh, patients. So we use this uh, scheme now to um, uh, indicate the operation or, 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 or to uh, get the patient into, in, in, into specific pathway. So it, any patient with, that, that requires an isolated arch uh, a replacement who has a logistic Euroscore less than 20 will be directed to uh, open total arch re, uh, replacement. Patients with logistic Euroscore between 20 and 60 who do not need an aortic root replacement or mitral valve replacement, again, 
they will uh, be uh, uh, advised to, to undergo a total arch replacement. However, those patients with Euroscore of, uh, of uh, 20 to 60 who require aortic root replacement or any other procedure uh, in whom a hybrid procedure or a, a total arch endovascular repair is no, no, no feasible may be considered for uh, open total arch replacement pending on a careful evaluation of them. However, those patients with logistic Euroscore more than 60, they may undergo selectively open total arch replacement when they do not need aortic root or a mitral valve replacement. However, if the logistic Euroscore is more than 60 and the, and the patient requires an aortic root replacement, uh, or mitral valve replacement, then the endovascular uh, procedure will be uh, uh, preferable. Um, since April 2006 to uh, April 2015, we have uh, operated now with uh, using the elephant trunk, the frozen elephant trunk technique, 60 patients. Uh, the main uh, uh, Patients' characteristics are presented, are presented here, and I'm going to uh, go quick through, uh, through this. Mainly, is aneurysm patients. Acute type A dissection has been only five, uh, five cases. Chronic type A dissection uh, has been three cases, and, and, and so on, totalizing a total of uh, 60 patients. Uh, concomitant procedures, mainly aortic root replacement in 59 of the patients have been associated to the procedure. The complications uh, that we have faced is a 30-day mortality of 10%, uh, tracheostomy, acute renal failure, permanent stroke, only two patients, uh, permanent uh, spinal cord injury, only one patient, 1.7%, and temporary a spinal cord injury also in one patient, uh, another 1%. Uh, in, in conclusion, open total arch replacement remains the gold standard therapy in our, in, 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 in our views for patients with isolated arch disease. Further research is necessary to identify patients at high risk for surgical intervention. Flows, the, floating, the frozen elephant trunk is an effective procedure, but higher mortality and morbidity compared to conventional total arch, repla uh, total arch replacement. However, risk of the frozen elephant trunk may still be advantageous in patients with extensive aortic disease when compared with the cumulative risk of the two stages repair of the conventional floating elephant trunk. The one stage open repair of aortic arch and the descending thoracic aorta or the thoracoabdominal aorta is feasible in selected patients, but the role of these procedures remains uh, uh, to be clarified. The hybrid arch repair has not proved to reduce the operative risk compared to conventional uh, operations, and for patients absolutely inoperable, uh, arch TVAR may be a, 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 a possibility but this uh, uh, remains in a uh, discussion. And I would like to finish to quote a, uh, a Dr. Kuchukus, who said, until sufficient data are accumulated to perform the necessary analysis, the question of whether hybrid procedures are as good or better than open ones for total repair of the aortic, uh, of the aortic arch will remain unanswered. Thank you. <laughs>